saying hello today from the beautiful Fourth Line Theatre with Robert Winslow, the founding artistic director. Just about an hour east of Toronto and I'm getting a backstage tour at the moment. This used to be the, uh, you know, for us as a farm, this was our, uh, we had our threshing floor here and the granary over there and, mm -hmm. and haylofts. Uh, when we first started the theater, we gutted this and, and, and we, we called it, I think it had, an, had, an, had, had a letter attached, I think it was Barn B, but now we call it the Big Barn. I don't know why, but we mm -hmm. call it the Big Barn. It's, it's a backstage area, it's also an area for changing, uh -huh. and it's also an area for, uh, for uh, set storage, and it's also an area for musical instrument storage, and there's an acting area up here that, uh, that we use as well. Really cool. Yeah. So That's how you turn a farm into a theater. Yeah. And that's, now we're walking onto our, mm -hmm. uh, onto our stage and you'll see the audience set up. Mm -hmm. so we have uh, I mean, 270 can sit in that area and then over mm -hmm. there another uh, 70 uh -huh. uh, or 80. So we get about 350 people. Uh -huh. And uh, this is, uh, this is, these are the original barns. This is how it was originally. That barn there was where we had uh, milk the cows and, and had and had our uh, calves and, mm -hmm. and ups upstairs was a hayloft and we had a milking line in there and we separated the cream from the milk and shipped the cream. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a, again a big open um, hayloft and also a horse barn there but this has been all gutted and made safe for audience and you know riser system built into it. Mm -hmm. But yep. the, the main the main factor is that these buildings were here. It's probably, I would say, probably they've been here for 140, 50 years. I mean, yeah, this, your family came over in the 1850s, yeah. roughly. Yeah, when they built these barns, I don't know, but it would have been late 1800s. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the great things that opens up to the south, mm -hmm. and uh, it also is a bit of a protection from the sounds of the road and the wind having the barns here. Mm -hmm. But it's a, uh, it's a very pleasant view of, of our neighbors, the well, hills and the fields, and the, quite often there's horses out there. So the audience can sit in nature, really, and watch the watch the performance. So if you're sitting up here, you get a perspective on it. Mm -hmm. You have to put up that sunblock for. Uh, oh yeah, the, I uh, can and we imagine. Start, our show starts at six, so it's, uh -huh. you know they're over by eight fifteen to eight thirty. So mosquitoes or bugs are not an issue. They come okay. out much later. So, but it's a pretty nice environment to sit in and watch a play. So you know we have our Gorgeous. musicians on yeah. stage. Yeah. A piano player, a drummer, a, a violinist, and then you know we can use all these different areas like up top. We can mm -hmm. use that. We can use and there's an open area over there, so you can have entrances and exits from many different angles, and you I can use the field for absolutely. scenes. Absolutely, that that's what I remember yeah. most about your production two years ago. Mm -hmm. Was actually from this side, people coming in in mm -hmm. in you know horses and carriages. Yeah, and absolutely. It's it was just it's mind blowing. You know, it's like a yeah, and real life theater being in a, in a real yeah. landscape, not in a fake. Yeah. Yeah, and it gives a real facility. feeling of authenticity to it. This it play particularly is about a young man and his father in a conflict, and it's a farm and it's set in a barnyard. So when they're having their, you know, scene, of, it's it's kind of haunting because you just it's not like being in a, in a theater set in, a, mm -hmm. in an indoor theater with the artificial lights and sound. You're you're in the actual setting of exactly. such a thing. So it's it's a very real feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. And uh, we've we've used plays. We've had plays where we've used that entire field and, and oh, yeah. up that area as well. So, and we've done plays in different uh, different locations on the farm mm -hmm. as well. But this is our this is our sort of main our main location. That's really cool. Yeah. And what are we gonna see tonight? What is the name of the production? Uh, it's called Green Marie. Uh huh. It's about the life of uh, Marie Dressler, mm -hmm. who some people would would know. Some people would it would be a new name to them. She was uh, from Coburg, Ontario. That's where she was born. And then, in a very, when she was a young teenager, she joined a traveling vaudeville group. Mm. And she ended up uh, in in New York, and then uh, ended up in film, and then she ended up being a Hollywood star. And mm -hmm. then, in 1931, she won the Academy Award for Best wow. Actress. That's really and cool. And then died in a couple of years later. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's her story. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Robert. Once again, I want to draw attention to your website. If you can repeat it one more yeah. time, please. Fourthlinetheater.on.ca with the number four. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay.